As the owner of May's Antique Tractors, Russell May spends his days with his hands full of history. It's an Oliver 440, made in 1960. I looked up the serial number and this tractor was the 111th one built in 1960. His shop in Raymond is a go-to destination for everything from a ground-up restoration like this Graham Bradley or a more modest update like this case. That's a case 830. It's been owned by the same family since new. They bought it uh, right off the showroom at uh, Jacksonville and drove it to Franklin and it didn't need a lot other uh, than just a lot of uh, paint. Put a clutch in it and paint work, little electrical. Fabrication skills are key when you're fixing machines that haven't been in production for decades. The right hand side panel for a Minneapolis Moline U tractor, they all had this problem. The, uh, they sit against the manifold and they get burnt up over the years of being used. So I've made a couple, couple of them for tractors I've restored and so I fabricate a new reproduction panel to uh, put on the tractors. He also dabbles in old cars, but tractors present some unique challenges. Most of the tractor is seen, even the engine it sits out, it's wide open, you walk up to it, you see the engine and all the parts and everything's exposed so you really got to detail them out real nice. Most of these tractors are done for customers but he has one of his own here as well. It's a 1935 Twin City tractor, it's a Model J. They uh, didn't build, build very many of them. It sat outside in a fence row for 47 years. I took it as a challenge. It was, it was a challenge. And this tractor has a special place in his business. This is the first tractor I restored in the mid-90s, and uh, it kind of got, got things going. People saw it when it was done. I started doing people's tractors on the side. Then when, they, uh, when my main job ended, I just went full-time with the tractors. He hasn't regretted the career change yet. When you get to a point where you start putting paint on, then you see the fruits of what you've been doing. And you you come home that night, it's like, man, it's looking great, you know, because I got I got a nice nice paint on a chassis, and but uh, it's a lot of lot of work. In Montgomery County, Mike Brooks, ABC News Channel 20. That'll work.